Boys, boys, boys. Okay. There was a guy that uh, said to me on YouTube that I must please do the whole smoker thing in English. And you are correct, sir. Because nobody else knew what the hell I was talking about. Look, it works like this. This is a 1 in 24 scale GMAM Garrett. It's a monster. 22 kgs of pure metal built by Andrew Giffen in the UK. They're extraordinary. But as these things go, um, I've ordered myself one as well, which will be here by the end of the year. Uh, as these things go, we wanted a DCC with sound because, sorry Andrew, <laughs> I got my mood. I prefer the way it smokes. It's more realistic to scale than the live steamers. It is just one of those things. I know that that's real steam and all that and much more prototypical, but I mean look-wise. Look, I'm a guy that looks at scale and looks at how they perform to a specific um, scale. You know, it's just who I am. All right, so enough of that. Now, I built one. There's one standing on the floor there that had the small USA train smokers, two of them in there. But I could not produce a this uh, sufficient volume of smoke. And two, the cylinder smoke, the fans were just too light. I couldn't get it out towards this because this is such a long, this is 1.2 meter loco. You know, to get it out to the cylinders all the way at the back was a bit of a problem. So we decided to redesign or design a smoker. And what we've done is, okay, this, this is a prototype. I've melted this thing in its canon in because we need to obviously um, uh, test, 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 test. So this is some of my little Perspex plastic thing. I've only got one fan on here, but on the real box, um, you'll have two fans. You'll have one here, one there, separation in the middle. One drives cylinder steam, the other drives the chimney steam. Okay, so when a customer gets to me and he must decide what he wants. If he wants cylinder smoke, I'll put a single 10 ohm resistor in there. 10 ohm on the other side to do the cylinder smoke and that'd be the end of that. Me personally, I think the cylinder smoke is a bit of a gimmick. Because you can never get it prototypically 100% right. I prefer volumes of chimney smoke, to be quite honest with you. Now, I posted videos on there. If you look at part 6 of the uh, videos that I posted, the previous ones. Man, if this thing on two 10 ohm resistors gets 6 amp and, and 16 volt, it pumps. It pumps an enormous amount of smoke, which is exactly what I want. However, downfall of that being that dude called himself Ohm. And it is actually short for, oh my God, what do I do next? Ohm's law dictates that voltage over resistance. Then that will give you the current. And at 10 ohms and 16 volts per um, single resistor, we're looking at 1.6 amps. So that thing was running at 3.5 amps before we even put a train down on the track. And a 22 kg train uh, pulling two motors will pull 2.5, 3 amps on its own. So you'll have a 6 amp train, and there's very few controllers off the shelf that can do that, or you're going to run that thing all on its own. The Ecos, that Ecos will do 6 amp, but it's only going to run the Garrett then, and we're not going to run anything else. So I had to get it more efficient and boys what a journey this was so far if i show you how many broken pieces and burns and crap was going on here you will probably not believe me a few things i've learned for you guys that want to build these things number one um to keep amps and stuff down, get the hottest element you could get in there for the voltage you can supply. Do not supply it from the decoder because it will not be enough. You've got like 
five or 600 milliamps on an XL decoder. You got to take it straight from the track. Right, that's the first thing. Second thing is stupid little things like wig. You know, I, I use this, this, and they work fine because we're testing. It burns it off after a while. That's about after five hours of continuous running. It burns it off. And then I found out that if you make that wig shorter, that it just touches the field, just lie in the, in the, in the, at the bottom of, the, of your actual smoker, and you have that fluid, say, at the lowest point, a millimeter or what up, it will still, with a short wick, keep it wet enough that that resistor doesn't burn it off. Simple things like that. And, you know, I'm learning quickly. All right. So, yeah, that, 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 that's one part that you need to understand. And then um, also your fan, that's a 24-volt jobby. 12 volt of this decoder just goes poof. A 5 volt goes poof. And there's actual smoke. It's lovely. You know, then everything smokes. Your fan smokes, your smoker smokes, and then after a while your decoder will also smoke. And you'll just put a little chimney in. <laughs> I kill myself. Anyway. So, all right, let me show you what it does. Now what I've got in here that's different to the last part number six that I posted the day before yesterday, is uh, these are now two 12-ohm, 10-watt resistors, ceramic resistors. Let me show you what they look like. They look like this. It's these oaks. You just break the, the cement around it off, and, or the ceramic or whatever the hell it is, and then you have them open like that, and that's a very, very good uh, element. Mainly because it's got the ceramic in the middle as well. So it's nice and tight and stiff. So you can turn the wig around and not break anything. All right. So let me show you now. At 10 amp, oh, at, 10, at, at 6 amps and uh, 16 volts running two 10 ohm resistors. This machine was pushing... 3.65 amps on the same motor, everything's the same setup. I'm going to start it now and run it. It does take slightly longer to heat up as a, compared to the, uh, the 10 ohm jobbies. But once it's up and running, I can actually set that, that it preheats while the locomotive is standing. Now, Yes, it does not produce the same amount of smoke as the 210, but this is sufficient. I, and I don't say that easily. I like my smoke. Okay, it'll heat up now. This is, this is, a, this is more smoke than any commercial smoker will ever give you. And I'll show you the good point about it now, which I don't really understand because, uh, according to Ohm, there's, there's like 600 milliamps missing here, but anyway, it works well. So this is the recipe I'm going to go with. All right, so we are pressing there on a low pulse. We are pressing a very, very efficient 1788 milliamp. 1.8 amp, 1.7, 1.8, which is a hell of a lot better than 3.2 amps. You know, so now if I bump it, that it runs consistently at heat over there, 1912, and that's the hot it's going to get. The rest of the amps that it picks up there is actually from the little motor. I've got a motor attached to it, a little HO motor, just so that the decoder knows where it is. All right, and then this is the smoke we have. Guys, and then there's another thing. I have now burnt diesel. I've burnt citronella oil. And I've burnt normal smoke oil. And I've burnt um, a fantastic mix I did last night with uh, uh, glycerin and distilled water. That's crap. Doesn't work. Doesn't do it for me. 
it's just slow. Mineral oil I haven't tried yet. I do not like mineral oil because it leaves residues the same as the diesel does. The diesel, make no mistake, leaves a hell of a lot of residue. And it, it actually clogs up that um, resistor after a while. So smoke fuel is also going to be very, very important. While this is eating the citronella that's in there now, I only put a little bit in. You see the citronella also dissipates. It, it doesn't hang like the diesel does. The diesel will fill this place up in no time. And so does the glycol one. Um, or the, the uh, I actually want to still try glycol, the glycerine one. All right. So that smoke is rather good. I want to show you if I take USA train smoke through it. What I also think will happen with this smoker as it is here is you will find why can't I open the bottle now? Right there. That this is much easier on the on the, the wigs. It doesn't grow as red as the 10 ohms does. Alright, now you see the smoke there. Let's give it some USA trains fluid. And that's one thing that I have to say about the the commercial stuff. Um, it's much healthier, <laughs> and you don't get that uh, that smell. Look, there's not a mosquito in Benoni at the moment. They all bug it off because there's so much citronella in the air that they just bug it off. But that's good smoke, boys. Uh, you know, I would love to get it to like with the two ten ohms, and I will put the two ten ohms on my loco when it comes. Because that will be a show loco. And the only time that that thing will run is when I show people and I want to make a lot of smoke. So you see there. That's good smoke. Um, okay, so let's chuff it down. That it goes to a chuff. It actually pulses. Oh yes, and there's another thing. If you use only one element, the smoke, the, the actual density of the smoke here tends to be less because there's less volume of smoke. So you can actually get away. Check out that USA train fluid smoke, eh? Stuff's brutal. It's a very, very good smoke oil, that. Um, but what I want to say is if you have two resistors in your two elements, your, your plume is denser. You know, it's, it's just there's more volume of smoke there. Um, whereas I can get a hell of a lot of smoke with one single 10 ohm, but it, it, it comes out thinner. And uh, if that makes any sense, that it probably doesn't. But anyway, see, so that's, that's good smoke. Now I'm going to run this thing, we can't live in this place, I mean look there already, but um, I'm going to put it outside and just let this thing run for a whole day and see w how long it takes before the, the that specific wig goes and how long the resistors last, you know, 10 minutes ain't going to work for me, it's got to, it's got to last for at least 100, 150 hours, you know, so um, that's why I like this, this 12 ohm, if you look at the 12 ohm there, it does not go um, red. And as I look in here, you see the, the wigs. There's no discoloration on the wigs. So that's bloody good news. I mean, that was probably two flies with one shot. So, yes, yes, guys, that's it. I'm going to go. Um, if you've got any questions, ask me below. And I won't answer you unless you, subs unless you subscribe. <laughs> All right, so do that. Subscribe, and then we'll see lots more stuff burning and blowing up and crap like that. Good. Bye-bye.